Hey guys, it's Sankarn again here, bringing you another video. And in this video, I'm just going to show you um, one of my concepts for um, Tech It. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, this concept is on the concept of moving mob spawners. So, you know how we have like mob spawners and they're all tile entities and stuff in Minecraft? So, we can't actually move them. Well, there's these things in uh, Red Power called frames which allows you to move blocks basically okay so um, I made these uh, frame me mechanisms which will allow you to um, dig down to a mo mob spawner and then move it the idea is as follows you tell your program the coordinates of this mob spawner then a machine holding these two arms moves into the correct position then first it moves this arm into the into the, like the activation slot if you like and it digs a four by four hole so it would dig a hole like this so if I just remove these it would dig a hole into the ground like that. Okay. Now, this thing goes back up all the way up to the top, and then it shifts, and then this thing comes along. Now, this is a d different kind of mechanical arm, and this one grabs stuff. So it grabs the block, the mob spawner, then goes up to the surface, then the whole machine returns back to its original position. It sounds simple, right? Well, yeah, it kind of is. So, let me just tell you the setup that I have here. Over here on 5, we actually have a block breaking um, setup, so let me just go over to our control panel over here. Okay, so we have um, the uh, spawn wait for it yeah the spawner dig that's what that um, thing does that digs so if I power this notice that all these um, tubes are powered and therefore these block breakers are powered um, so if I put a block there and then flick this um, on notice it will be dragged up and it will deposit into a ender chest right and this ender chest will be linked up to you know your main base or something okay so so far simple okay so that will dig and it will dig like um, firstly it will dig this sort of line but then it still needs to dig the middle line so then it's gonna move across and then dig again um, and that's the way that sort of algorithm works. It's the same algorithm as a lot of um, red power frame quarries. Um, yeah, basically. Now, the mechanical arm that um, picks up stuff is a bit different. We have a block breaker over here. And we have uh, pneumatic tubes connecting that block breaker and this deployer up. And we also have a frame here. Now we know if this furnace, for example, stuck to that frame. So let's just do that uh, initially. We just want to put the spawner hand down. Okay, now we have grappled onto this furnace. right? So the furnace is all the way up here. Now we want to be able um, to let this thing go. So let's just lift it up a bit. Uh, so let's go spawn a hand up. Just to show you it does go up. And we can actually move the furnace. Okay. Now let's put it back down again. And the way we release it is we do spawn a hand release. And what that does is it triggers this block breaker here to break the frame and then the frame cycles through these tubes and then back into the deployer here. 
So now, if we lift up the hand, notice that the whole thing is going up. And that's it basically guys, that is the concept. Now I, I did test that this thing goes through that hole, so let's just test that quickly. Um, okay, so if I do that, you can see it fits in perfectly into this hole. Um, I mean, the the whole hand is 2x2 two two and it's going down a 4x4 four four thing, so, you know, you would have thought it would be fine anyway. Um, but that's always a good thing to know. Um, now, it needs to be 4x4 four four just so uh, these things don't stick on anyway, so I couldn't just stick with a 2x2. Two two. Otherwise, um, I couldn't have a deployer block breaker set up at the top and th this thing would be absolutely colossal. So anyway, guys... Thanks for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time for the next video.